Hi everyone, Anissa here with Big Rhea, and I wanted to go over with you how do balloon mortgages work. Here's the question that came in, how do balloon mortgages work? Um, so a balloon mortgage is a mortgage loan that doesn't fully amortize um, during the life of the loan, making a lump or balloon payment due at the end of the loan terms. I'm going to get into that a little bit more here. So this is how they work. Um, a balloon mortgage can be a shorter term loan and they usually are spanning from around two to 10 years. Uh, prior to 2015, they went upwards of, in some cases, even 30, but now even trying to find a 15 year um, term rate on a balloon mortgage type loan can be like, um, is said to even be like trying to find Bigfoot, it's too elusive to find. Okay, so sometimes the borrower can make interest payments alone and rolling over the remaining interest and principal into the balloon payment that's due depending on the loan structuring, meaning you're going to be making smaller payments up front. Um, if you picture a balloon, it's the smaller payments and then that big lump due at the end because you're not paying off a full loan over the term of it until the very end, that is. So how this might look on a $200,000 loan. Okay, so here's a little breakdown of this in a table. Um, there's a 15 year adjustable rate at 3.87% um, for that initial year. Remember adjustable meaning we don't know what it's gonna be after that first year. That first year monthly payment um, of 940 and then total uh, monthly payments, again, not predictable because we don't know interest rates for sure. Uh, 15 year fixed, they're at 3.8% monthly payment of um, $1,389 and on that $200,000 loan, you're going to end up paying around $250,020. And on a seven year balloon, um, that 3%, that monthly payment is going to look something around $843. And then that total monthly payment, um, $70,812. So you can see the big difference there. But then on the flip side of that, at the end of the balloon loan, what's going to be due is everything remaining in the principal balance and interest. So why a balloon loan? Um, investors might use a balloon mortgage as the means to obtain a property for a cheaper monthly payment with the intention of selling the property before the lump or balloon payment is due using the selling proceeds to make a payment. Um, in a lot of cases, this would be like a fix and flip scenario. So what happens when you can't pay? So often a balloon uh, mortgage loan has a built-in refinancing terms for refinancing the loan with the same original lender, allowing um, the borrower to turn that into a 30-year traditional mortgage if they still qualify. However, some borrowers will choose to refinance with a new lender for a better interest rate, but again, that's if they can still get approved. Uh, one thing to note here is when um, you're facing that balloon payment at the end um, and if you're not able to um, qualify for refinancing um, again with the lender that you originally had the loan with or a new lender um, looking at alternative methods here such as getting a private money loan to um, make that balloon payment is an option unfortunately though this is where a lot of borrowers find themselves in a foreclosure um, because even if they sell and then in subsequent financial uh, distress because even if they were to sell the property they might actually end up owing more on the loan in that balloon payment than the house is worth now um, so they're upside down in it so this is where a lot of the problems with balloon loans come in so most often the case is though, unless you're sure of the property's appreciation, you're very confident with interest rates not going up, um, and you're confident with your income and credit scores only improving over time or coming into a lot of money if you're looking to get an inheritance or sell a business perhaps, a balloon mortgage might not be your best choice. Here's some helpful places. Um, TrilliantFCU.org, they have a free balloon mortgage calculator. RateZip.com and LendingTree.com, they are also places where you can find lenders for balloon uh, mortgages if you still think that this is something that you might be interested in. If you're embarking around the world in a hot air balloon, don't forget the toilet paper. Richard Branson. If you love this video, leave a comment of love below. Remember, join the movement today. Like, subscribe. Nowhere else are you going to learn how to build your own real estate business, building income ascension, making at least five grand a week for the rest of your life. We'll see you again soon. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you on those.